Hey Canucks fans, and welcome to Clay's Canucks Commentary. The Vancouver Canucks survived a frantic finish in Minnesota to defeat the Wild 3-2 to kick off their four game road trip. It wasn't a work of art, but nevertheless, the Canucks will be sure glad to take the win. Let's look at the good, the bad, and the ugly from tonight's game. Redeem Brabada was good. He had two goals and was a threat to score throughout the game. Couple these two goals with the late goal he scored against New Jersey on Sunday night, and now he has a modest little streak going of three goals in the last two games, and hopefully this will give him some much needed confidence moving forward. Brabada's line mate Jared McCann was also good. He skated hard all night, made some really good decisions with the puck, and you certainly couldn't tell that he's a rookie with only 20 games under his belt. In fact, the entire line of McCann, Verbetta, and Higgins had a very strong game, and the three of them led the entire team in possession numbers. The Canucks defense was also good, even though it seemed like a bit of a bend but not break mentality. For the first time in 11 games, they surrendered less than three goals. And goaltender Ryan Miller did his part, stopping 31 of 33 shots that he faced. Maybe this week he'll be able to crack a smile like this. There wasn't a lot of bad to point out from tonight's game. Sure, the Canucks could have had a better first period, and they didn't do so great in the face-off circle. And a small thing, the top line of Yannick Hansen and the Sedin twins actually had the worst possession numbers of all forwards on the team. Thankfully, this is definitely the exception and not the rule. Only one ugly thing sticks out to me, and that would be the Canucks' coverage on their first penalty kill of the game. The poor positioning led directly to Minnesota's first goal. In essence, you had Tanev, Edler, Cracknell, and Prust all in the same area of the ice. Sure, they maintained their four-man box, it's just too bad that that four-man box was stuck in the corner, leaving a couple Minnesota Wild players wide open. And if you watch the replay, you can actually see Ryan Miller shaking his head after the goal went in. Gosh, I'd hate to mess up in front of him. Let's get to Canucks in a word, where you send in your thoughts on the Canucks game or the Canucks using just one word. Resilience. Phew. Yes, there's an actual F at the end of that word. A picture of Jared McCann kissing Ryan Miller's mask. Thanks, Abby. Verbata. Verbac. Like that one, Mike. Verbadass. Miller time. Hey, Jovan, I think Thomas is trying to steal your thunder. Miller time. Redeem. Hectic. Barely. Redeemed. Outstanding. Slump breaker. Frantic. Two points is two points. Phew. No F. Rejuvenated. Clumsy. Bake, just make sure you don't come watch me play roller hockey then. Pew! Exhale. <sighs> Redeem machine. Whoo! Verbata! The Canucks continue their road trip on Friday where they travel to Dallas to take on the Red Hot Stars. The Canucks are gonna need a lot of good and hardly any bad or ugly to get past the number one team in the Western Conference. I invite you to follow me on Twitter at Canuck Clay and subscribe to this YouTube channel. Thanks for watching and God bless. Go Canucks, go.